Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a really fun Valentine's tutorial for you today and it's on this look that I'm wearing right here. So it's a very girly, very traditional, pink, glittery sort of a Valentine's look. And I've just never done a look like this on my channel for Valentine's Day, so I just really wanted to do it this year, so I just went for it. So I used my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, which I absolutely love, and then I also used a couple of glitters from Eye Candy, which I really do like their glitters, so that's kind of what we're going to be using today. So I really think it's a fun look. I hope that y'all enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, my name's Leslie. Welcome. Hope that you will subscribe and stick around for a while. And yeah, if you want to see how to get this really fun, glittery, girly, sort of a Valentine's look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer today. Now I'm going to apply Max Painterly Paint Pot to the top half of my lids just to cancel out discoloration. I realized I had forgotten to put my brows on, so I have my brows on now. So now I'm going to get some of Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink and apply that to my lids as my base. Now I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm gonna get some of this one right here. This is Almond Truffle on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And I'm going to apply this into my crease as my, I said that weird, as, as my transition color. <laughs> of Totally Fetch on a Delium Tools 781 brush and I'm going to apply that into my outer corner. I have too much and then I'm going to blend it over into my crease just a little bit. I just want this to be a very, it's going to be a very pinky look for sure. I'm using pretty light pressure to blend that into my crease like I'm when I get into this part of my crease I'm using a little bit more but then when I get up here where I'm blending into that transition color I'm using very little pressure where it just kind of seamlessly blends the two colors together and then you can go back in with that brush from earlier and some of your transition color just do a little bit more blending and now I'm gonna get some of divinity on just a no-name brush and I'm gonna apply that as my brow bone highlight Now I really want to deepen up my outer corner, so I'm going to get some of Dark Truffle on that same 781 brush and just apply this right into my outer corner just to really darken that up. So we're going to be having a lot of glitter going on on our lids, so I still want some dimension out here. some liner. I'm going to tight line my upper lash line with my NYX Trey Jolie liner and then I'm going to apply some of my Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black and do a little bit of a wing. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to apply some of this Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Brown and I'm going to go over that with some Bordeaux and my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. Now for some fun glitter on my lids, I'm gonna first use this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, and then I'm gonna use these two glitters from Eye Candy. This one is in Bubblegum, and this one is in Double Bubble. So I'm gonna use kind of a combination of the two of them. First using the glitter glue and then also using the Eye Candy Liquid Sugar and their little brush. It kind of helps. I like to layer the different things to kind of help the glitter stick better. This is really good by itself, but I just feel better using some glitter glue too. So I'm gonna use it all. Now 
and I'm kind of applying it more thickly on the inner part of my lid, kind of this half. And then when I get out to the outer corner, I'm just lightly applying just a few so that it kind of like trails off in my outer corner, but you see more of the glitter on the main part of my lid. Now that my glitter has dried a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with some of those blending shades and really lightly go over my crease area just to kind of blend that just a little bit more. I mean, you're gonna have a harsh line because you have glitter, but just to kind of help it blend a little bit more. And then I'm gonna also go back in with my liner and go over that really quickly. Now honestly, this look really needs false lashes, but me and false lashes just don't really mix very well. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply a crap ton of my CoverGirl The Super Sizer Mascara. Okay, now for the rest of my face. So I've applied foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer. So I will list those down below for you. So for blush, I'm gonna use NARS's Madly. It's kind of like a warm, neutral color. Um, I just kind of want to balance out all the pink and I'm just using a Tarte brush that I got like in a set or something. I love Madly. It's one of my favorite blushes. It goes with a lot of different looks. For highlight, I'm gonna take this top shade in my IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette and apply some of that. And I'm using my Sedona Lace 313 brush. This highlight is amazing. This is really why I bought the whole palette, but I love the whole palette. But this highlighter is incredible. And then for lips, I'm gonna apply some of my Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in 03 Rose Wine. And this is a lipstick from NYC, but I do really like it. This is the Get It All Lip Color. And this is in 100 Pink Digis, or something like that. Pink Digis, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. So that's a finished looking tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you have any questions for me. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.